Hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna try to work on this Casio keyboard I got in. It's uh, it was shipping damage. I bought it that way, and it works. It just has a some of these keys are a little bit off, and um, I'm gonna take out this. Uh, this is like a pull down cover for the keyboard. I'm gonna try to just take that completely out because I really don't need it and uh reason I'm doing that is because it's kind of bent and the track's off so I don't really need it and that'll probably save some weight so see if I can't get this taken apart got the lid off of it here there was uh these two uh mounting bracket screws on the side and then there's one, two, uh, three, four, five, and then the uh, other two mounting brackets on the side. And this has some kind of a, it almost felt like a, almost like a rubber cement or a contact cement. This, all this stuff is particle board. So, so really, none of that stuff's really even needed other than cosmetics. And uh, I took the this tray out. Um, let me get my scale, and we'll see how much that tray tray weighs. Okay, so that little uh, pull-down tray that just covers up the keys, it's uh, about five and a quarter pounds. Let me switch that over to kilos for... So... Two and a half kilograms, almost. Five pounds, 4.8 ounces. So that's a significant weight right there. This is all uh, particle board with a little, little bit of a plastic cover on it. Not really a necessary item. Um, it's just a dust cover. see if I can't get those uh, well and even this top piece let's see how much it weighs um, that's another close to four pounds so that would uh, I mean yeah I'm probably gonna have to have at least the top cover on there but essentially it's just cosmetic. Not really necessary because the, the unit is this. Um, from what I can tell, it's all enclosed. This might be the, this is probably where the brain is underneath here. And then you've got your speakers. But, yeah, this housing is, they could have probably saved a lot of weight by making this out of another material other than particle board. Particle board's pretty heavy. So. And this is pretty beat up. It's got dents and dings and scratches and cracks all over it, but that's how I bought it because saved a significant amount of money by doing that okay all right so i'm taking this end cap piece off there's one uh, i believe that was a silver screw and then there's a black screw and i can't remember if those were silver or black 
but there's there's one, two, three, four screws, and uh, then on the back there's uh, there's a screw there, and then one down there, and then. It looks like there's one on the inside there. Let me see. Yep. That was the last piece. So one little screw on the inside. And that's the end cap. And there's not much there. That's really even not anything functional. That's just a cover there. So to get the end cap off, you have to take the top. Well, I guess you could. It probably just, it probably would just slide out without taking the top off. You would just have to take those, those screws out because there's no, um, there's nothing on this end cap that's attached to the top. So, but you would have to take the top off to get to that inside bottom screw so okay i think i may just leave that out whoa have a leaf inside there huh weird as you can see there's nothing structural on the uh end piece here the keyboard didn't start until about two and a half inches in there, so. There you go. All right, to take this, uh, take this back panel off, it's just uh, one screw here, two, three, four, and five. And then it just slides right out. It's like this. Just slides right off. That uh, definitely made the made it look smaller. I'm going to take this other end cap off and see um, if there's anything structural under there. I don't think there is. I didn't get a video of taking the whole thing apart on the other side, but there's a screw here. And of course that um, that inside screw that you, you have to take the top off. And I think there's a couple on the bottom here. I can get this rolled over. So, it's, uh, this one, and this one, Ooh, I better pick those up before I step on them. This one, and this one. And that just slides off. This one.
Oh, let's see. What am I stuck on here? There may be something attached. Let me look. Okay, so it does have a little piece on the inside that uh, kind of hooks underneath this piece. It's kind of a little slide in thing. So that's why I couldn't pull it out. This is what it looks like with the front removed. The, uh, there's a little electrical plate there, but there's not really anything structural in the front. That's the keys that were kind of off. Probably just gonna need to adjust those. Now that I have all of the stuff off, it looks significantly smaller. And all of that stuff is really just cosmetic because the whole the whole keyboard is on the this base. That's pretty much it. Everything else is this is just the key bed and the brain is underneath the underneath there. So basically like a reverse keyboard instead of having all the stuff up here it's got an underneath there so I'm gonna get all this stuff on the scale and see how much weight I took off okay as you can see 16 and a half pounds oh, 16 and 9 ounces so 16 and a half pounds and that's what it looks like now. I, uh, that significantly reduced the weight of it. This could actually almost be a portable if I can come up with a, a way to uh, make a lighter housing for it. I mean, it would be very portable. Let's see how much it weighs by itself now. All right, after getting all of that off, the whole keyboard only weighs 25 pounds now. And really, if I pulled the speakers, that would even be more weight taken off of it. I don't really need the speakers because I use this as a MIDI controller, so I may pull those speakers and see how much more weight I save but 25 pounds is a that's a portable keyboard right there all right that little circuit board on the end is just the light indicator that it's on <laughs> I can tell by the uh, audio quality now that that the uh, particle board um, back was basically like the speaker box because um, the audio is much weaker now but I'm just using this as a MIDI input really MIDI keyboard because I have much better sounding keys uh, plugins on my computer so I may see what I need to do to eliminate the um, speakers and that'll save even more weight. All right, so I have this key sticking up. So I'm taking this apart here. Oh, I thought that was one section. Let me take the, I guess I have to take the whole panel off. I'm gonna see if these speakers can be easily dis disconnected under here, and then I'm gonna look at the look at the brain there, and I just want to see how easy these can be disconnected because I really don't need speakers. So that'll be extra weight I can take off of it. This is a 
simple clip clip and unscrew the speaker. I'm not sure how much that weighs, but um, I think for now I'm just going to leave it just because I like the way these housings um, I have the stand fit exactly to where the housings are and it keeps it from sliding around so there's hardly anything in here just uh looks like a little simple uh kind of a motherboard logic board and then a uh, power supply that's about it I could easily move this up on top to where there's nothing on the bottom of the keyboard. And this, when this sets in, I'm gonna make sure I'm not pinching any wires, but um, when you get all the screws out, it's kind of one of those deals that slides. You slide it in, you have to slide it that way to lift it up and then you slide it that way to latch it back down when I uh, rebuild the base for this I may end up just extending it by I don't know what about three inches and then moving all the electronics up on top